That's where we do the professional critique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna have to bleep it's out lovely. so many swear words. <laughs> oh no! Are you a clean channel? <laughs> I'll cut all the terrible stuff I'm saying. <laughs> Something I don't take enough advantage of in being a full-time YouTuber now is that I can work with my friends whenever I want. So everybody, meet Ollie Del Mastro. Hi hey, YouTube. <laughs> I interrupted. <laughs> Go again. You. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi again. Hi YouTube. <laughs> We're gonna be working on some stuff together today. We're gonna be doing some sketches today. <laughs> I'm gonna cut some of that. <laughs> First things first though, we gotta go buy some hair ties because Ollie's hair is gonna get in the way. If he doesn't have them on, it's gonna look something like this. <laughs> so probably need those. So Ollie also decided that it was important to get a feather boa. How could you not be happy with this? <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so we didn't really plan out today that well. Don't really know what we're doing. We had a few different ideas, but basically we're gonna start by just sketching. I hope you guys like some improvisation. Also, all of the music in this episode is courtesy of the fantastic musician, Ollie Del Mastro. That's me. I'll leave links to his YouTube channel and Instagram everywhere, description, tags, all the places. So click them. Yeah, you won't regret it. Now, as mentioned, Ollie's art form of choice is being a musician. He's an incredible singer and guitar player, and he can play a whole bunch of other instruments as well. But he's also a better illustrator than your average person as well. His go-to kind of stuff to draw is portraits, sometimes based off reference images, sometimes not, and then some sci-fi and some superhero stuff. He had opened two books that he was referencing images from, one being an art book of the work of Frank Frazetta, and another being a book of old Flash Gordon comics, which he's a big fan of. For my rough sketches to get warmed up, I was just drawing a whole bunch of superhero stuff and some random heads, but of course, more in my style. My weapon of choice was a ballpoint pen, because I've been really like warming up with those ever since Cohen Comer recommended them. They've been a lot of fun, it's just really nice keeping things fast and loose and not feeling like you have to finish things too much because you can't really erase anything once you've got it down in ballpoint pen. And doing this, I realized that I haven't done a Spider-Man drawing on the channel in a while. I gotta get back to doing that sometime soon. I also want to try doing some anime characters, but anyway, once we'd gotten through these rough sketches, both of us were feeling pretty warmed up and ready to get going with whatever we were doing in this video. Here, you take a look at mine, I'll take a look at yours. Okay. Oh. So we do the professional critique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to bleep it's out lovely. so many swear words. <laughs> oh no, are you a clean <laughs> channel? Don't remember that I said <laughs> uh, or, uh, or Do you censor that one? Do they still censor <laughs> on TV? This is the TV. This is the, this TV. Is the, TV. This is the internet, TV. but I'm still censoring all of that. Alright, we got Kristen Stewart, we got... Are all of these specific celebrities, or are... Uh, no, that was... was just man. Nice. I, I still don't know what this video is gonna be, though. It's gonna be a series of bleeps. <laughs> yeah, a series of bleeps. Coffee? Coffee. They made it as Canadian as possible. There's a maple leaf on top of a Tim Hortons mugs now. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> yep. Oh, you got to bleed that one out too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got our coffee, and now we've decided what we're gonna do. Ollie is going to do a drawing of She-Ra? She-Ra. Of She-Ra, which just, new season just came out, right? Uh, either, I think today there's new episodes, or when do these air? Oh yeah, this video <laughs> will come out, I don't know, like five days from now, four days from now or something? So by then, there will be new episodes on Netflix. Yes, I mean that. This, this makes us sound like we're an ad. We're not being paid by Netflix. <laughs> but hey, Netflix, if you want to pay us for this, we'll do another one. So yeah, Ollie's gonna do a rougher drawing of She-Ra, and then I'm gonna take it and ink it and color it. I hope you guys like it. I don't. <laughs> well, I don't like you, mother- <laughs> Okay, well. Let's bleep that. Now it's been a really long time since I inked and colored someone else's work, and what's kind of cool about it is the end result ends up being your own style of inking and coloring with someone else's character proportions and body shape, and that creates a cool kind of mix, because the way Ollie draws his characters is pretty different from how I draw my characters. People know who watch this channel that I tend to draw characters a bit more cartoony, with bigger facial features and expressions and eyes, bigger hands and forearms and lower legs and feet. 
So I'm super excited to see what the finished result is gonna look like with Ollie's character shape and my coloring and inking. I haven't drawn a full figure person with sword or otherwise in a long time, but uh, for a bit of a refresher, I think it's pretty good, and I think you're gonna make it even better. <laughs> Let's see if I can. Now, one thing that kind of got me really excited about working on this piece was the fact that Ollie didn't give it a background or environment, because it meant I could compose the image however I wanted, and put the character wherever, and frame it however I wanted. And I really like doing images that are kind of central focused, but with the pose that Ollie gave the character, it didn't really make sense to put her in the middle of the frame, so I pushed her off to the right a little bit, and I decided I wanted to have it so that our eye was kind of guided from the sun and maybe some streaks of clouds over to Shira's head, and then from her head down through her to her sword. So our eye would kind of go in a bit of a, a seven sort of shape, or back backwards. Which way do sevens go? Anyway, you get what I mean, going in a streak like that. And I really liked that idea. And then going in an inking, there were things that I inherently kind of felt like I wanted to change about the proportions because I'm just not used to inking and coloring over someone else's characters. But I had to go, nope, nope, this is Ollie's character shape. Keep it the way it is. The image was a little bit rough. So there were some parts where I kind of had to interpret where he wanted the lines. And in those bits, I might've leaned it a little bit more towards my style than his. But overall, I think I did a pretty good job inking it so that it was still representing the shape of the character that Ollie had intended. And while I was working on the inking, I brought up some images from the show Shira because the costume that Ollie was referencing was from the newer Netflix series, which is a really great series. I've not finished season one yet, I just started watching it recently, but I've really been liking it. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Anyway, I saw that in a lot of those, the environments were kind of the stuff that I'll draw when I'm being a little bit lazy anyway, where it's just kind of mountains and trees and clouds and kind of a spacey sort of sky, usually with some stars in it, and usually very, very blue, which worked nicely because a lot of She-Ra's costume and her outfit is kind of yellow. Her hair is yellow, all the accents on her costume are yellow, so that stands out really nicely in a blue environment. So I tried to keep everything behind the platform that she was on in a very blue sort of washed color, except for the sun, which is going to be the yellow streak that leads us over to she -Ra, and then we look down through her, and that'll be pretty easy because she's already got yellow elements in her. I also made the rocks that she was standing on a little bit of a orange-ish hue. It's a very light kind of gray, but with a little bit of orange in it, so that that whole corner of the screen is kind of yellow-ish, and it doesn't all get faded into a blue. I also decided for the sort of mountainy, rocky, cloudy bits in the background, not to ink those, but just to sort of block in color shapes and then do a little bit of shading to them later on. And I really like the result of that. It does make those background mountains feel more in the background, not having a layer of ink around them. So yeah, it was all coming together really nicely, and I hope you enjoy the rest of it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna put on one of Ollie's original songs that he wrote and sang. He's got his whole band going with this one, but it's some really great music, and I want to encourage people to check out his stuff, so I'll link his stuff again later on. But here is an original song by Ollie Del Mastro called Out in the Dark. Someone calling me near, someone out there in the dark. We echo my own, places unknown. What could lie out in the dark? Voices I've heard have left me on my own. Did I think I won't need them now that I'm grown? I thought my youth would feel so far away, but I never felt younger than I do on this day. Cause I so unwise to think fears could have changed to flee from the dark. So strange. Wake 
have been tears, counting the years no one can see in the dark. A thousand eyes stare, what dwells beyond there? What could fly out in the dark? Is everything still within the old hill? What could fly out in the dark? What good is my song with no one to hear? But what good is waiting if no one appears? Darkness is long in a place where I roam. The creatures out there are just calling me home. Please never tell me to not shed a tear. Really, how brave is a man of the fear? This, this was seriously so much fun. It's so cool seeing my inking and coloring on someone else's proportions and character shape. And it was nice getting to focus a little bit more on how I was doing the environment and composition because someone else had taken care of the character pose. Now, Ollie's work is available on iTunes, Spotify, Bandcamp, I'll link all his stuff, but he's actually just put out a video on his channel. So I'm gonna jump over there and check it out. Maybe I'll be in the comment section on that video saying hi to anyone that's commenting. So if you wanna jump over there too, I'll leave a link to it in the pinned comment and in the card. So if you like the music in this episode, be sure to go check that out. But besides that, that's the end of the video. I'm Christian Pearson, this is Popcross Studios, home of the nerdiest art videos on YouTube, and I will see you all, not in the next one, over on Ollie's channel. Let's get over there.